dear ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor for me to be invited here again and have a to speak, and I do hope you will appreciate this one of the previous. So, today we are going to find out what it means to be a reality vegan, why we cannot enjoy our life, and why we are overthinking. Why I have chosen this topic? Because it has been my greatest problem for a long time, and even obstacle. And like any obstacle in our life, we should overcome them. But this is not the case, because this one shouldn't be overcome. This one should be eradicated. So, let's imagine. A girl met her professor, she greeted him, and he didn't answer. Her actions? Exactly the same thing the majority of people do. She started interpreting his behavior, presume, explain, come to her own conclusions, and finally, the most terrible, she started believing in something she created in her head by herself. Oh, I have always known he hates me. I will definitely have problems at the exam. He's disgusting. Please, stop it. It's so exhausting to live like this, but we continue and we keep on. Please, take pause and look. This is our reality. It has no boundaries. It has no frames. But we still live in these frames. We don't notice it. Why? How are these frames created? We are born and there are no limits. And while our women parents put some patterns in our heads that they consider to be indisputable. And it's okay, it's normal, it's upbringing, they want us to know what is wrong and what is right, and it's inevitable, it's like a side effect of upbringing. It's okay, but anyway, now we live here. For example, ты ж девочка, five years old, ты ж девочка, why your dress is dirty? 25 years old, accidentally, uh, this girl put uh, juice on her dress and it's high time for extra thoughts. They will think I'm a real pig. They will be disappointed with me. I'm sure what to do. Oh, by the way, who's they? Oh, the second responsible for our patterns. This time we can filter these patterns, we can choose them because we can choose our environment. But what a pity, they are inevitable again, and now we live here. So, for example, everyone should seek for success. Everyone should do his or her best in order to be successful. Okay, but let's stop for a moment and realize that not everyone wants to run business, earn billions, and change their cars every month. And there are people who just want to paint, for example, and they, enjoy, and they enjoy creating, and they don't aspire to be Michelangelo, but it's okay for them just to do something they like. Yes, such people exist. Don't uh, limit their reality and don't permit others to do. No, such people are not silly. Maybe they are even happier because they don't create ideals. They just are able to enjoy something they have. But if you think now that these are the final restrictions, I have some bad news for you. Because actually, we live in our little cage. This is the last step to this cage, is our own personal life experience. It means uh, something we forbid to ourselves, uh, our personal experience. So I don't want to make examples here because it is very individual and it depends on your personal experience, but now you know how it works. So remember your, mm, something you forbid to yourself, then look at this cage, because this cage is the very place for the reality vegans, people who don't want to consume the whole reality. I know, you are waiting for a magic recipe, how to avoid it. I'm sorry, I don't have one because it doesn't exist. But you can step out of this cage. Each time you understand that you have started overthinking, just stop at the point of side trade and try to taxi your thoughts in the right direction. It means every time you understand that you have started thinking too much, stop yourself and suggest to yourself other scenarios of 
the situation, understand that it's senseless because there are infinite number of them, remember that there are scenarios that we can't even imagine or we can't accept them, but it's okay because if we don't know something, if we don't accept something, if we don't know how and why, it doesn't mean that this something isn't possible. Everything is possible. That's why the last step, just accept it. You won't be in harmony with yourself until you learn to accept facts without analyzing it. So, just accept and that's it. Because Sometimes there are situations that when people don't answer our greetings just because they have eyesight problems. Maybe they just haven't noticed you. Don't overthink. Thank you for your attention.